Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you all here uh, this morning. Uh, we have a fabulous panel, uh, and if I can ask the panelists to come up, uh, I'm going to do it slightly different than some of the other panels. Um, uh, I'm going to actually speak at the end, uh, but let me just kind of frame the conversation very, very briefly. Uh, our panelists today uh, are three people who have uh, firsthand faced uh, serious uh, repression in various means and manners. Um, our panelists are uh, Antonieta Ledesma, who of course is the daughter of imprisoned, uh, the imprisoned mayor of Caracas, uh, Antonio Ledesma. Uh, I was with actually uh, uh, her mom Mitzi last week in Washington, uh, making our way around uh, and advocating for Venezuela human rights. And although most people have been focusing on the negative things that um, my president has been doing, uh, uh, which I think there are a number of those uh, that are Concerning, uh, last week the United States actually reversed its policy in Venezuela in exactly the right way, sanctioning the sitting vice president of the country and meeting uh, Lillian Tintori, the wife of my client, Leopoldo Lopez, the leading political prisoner in Venezuela, along with Antonio Ledesma. Uh, also uh, speaking on the panel is Chido Gascon, who I had the pleasure of uh, spending some time talking to last night, uh, the chair of the Philippines Human Rights Commission, who is fighting the good fight against really extraordinary uh, repression by the president of the Philippines. Uh, he was telling me last night that ran some 7,500 plus extrajudicial killings uh, uh, since Duarte has become president, which is obviously horrifying uh, for a uh, uh, otherwise uh, democratic country. And then lastly uh, is Tagmi Rahmani, uh, a former Iranian political prisoner, and of course the husband of the jail of human rights activist uh, Nargis Mohammadi. Uh, who is in Evan prison suffering uh, extraordinarily right now and desperately in need of the world's help and support. And so the panel topic for this morning is fighting oppression and defending human rights. And what we're going to be doing is hearing from three people on the front lines about their own experiences in very different uh, contexts, very different kinds of country situations uh, from uh, an Islamic uh, theocracy to a so-called democratic country and to a uh, highly authoritarian uh, dictatorship, uh, uh, secular dictatorship in Venezuela. So uh, we'll go in order of the, uh, uh, the speakers on the panel and uh, if I can ask each of the panelists to speak for no more than 10 minutes and we'll begin with Antonieta Ledesma.